Present day. <laughs> Present time. <laughs> okay, if you try to run Windows game, I mean Windows games or software under Linux, you probably heard of Wine. Well, Wine has got some some great new upgrades that I would like to talk about today. And it's bringing some exciting changes and better compatibility and performance improvements. Better than it already is. And I just can't wait to talk about it. So let me quickly explain why. So think of why of a translator that lets these Windows apps apps and games to run under Linux. So like a sandbox in a way. Okay, so let's break this down for those new Linux newcomers. Because I want everyone to understand. I know I tend to sometimes oversimplify things, but it's because I want everyone to be able to get on it. So let's talk about this first. So for those new X11, it's okay. Let me think about this for a second. Okay, right right now games on Linux run through something called X11, which is an older system to handling graphics. To go ahead, like using a, a middleman to translate everything between your apps and your screen. It works, but it isn't the fastest. Well, with Wayland Safari and Wine, there's no middleman for 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 apps and games, so it could talk to it. It talks directly to Wayland, which means smoother graphics, less lag, and overall better performance. It's like upgrading a driving, like a bumpy road from an envelope payphone, or even a better analogy. Um, think about it like a emulator. You're trying to run. Well, it's not an emulator, but it's, it kind of has similar concepts. So, it, you know how an emulator, you trick the system into thinking it's the other system to be able to run the ROM or the ISO file or whatever. So, basically, games that have been running under Wayland have, have been actually running through X11. So, this basically was with the Wine support to Wayland, everything will run directly through Wayland, which will have a lot of improvements, especially for those on gaming. So with this update, it will basically make it easier to run things with with Wine, you know, on your Linux machine, games, less bugs. You know, things are just going to work right out of the box without having to do all these additional tweaks to it. So they've optimized how Wine runs behind this, and which means less overhead on your system and potentially even faster load times to game some apps. Not only that, um, Mac's got some improvements. So for Mac users running Wine, there's also improvements to ARM processors, processors like the M1 and so it's not just the Linux users getting some of that sweet love. So let's ask the question, why are these changes important? For Linux gamers, this is this is this is really huge good news because it brings us closer to to Windows games as they were made for Linux. In other words, like yeah, they run like yeah, that's perfect. What I should say, I think yeah, it basically run like the games are running native on Linux, like Windows apps and stuff. You know, no more clunky work run performance drops because of all systems like X11. It's also a bigger movement of moving um, Linux into a more fu future-proof with, with Wayland, which is the direction that most distros are heading at this point. So Wine 10 point is a massive step for Linux gamers and app users. If you're holding back from using Linux because of the compatibility issues, this, is, this update will show you how basically how far we've come as a community. So down in the comments, just let me know what 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 windows app source or games you're you like to run under wine and stay tuned because this is gonna be great as always i know i kind of suck at this video because I, I suck at wording english is not my first language i'm just good at mimicking accents anyway that's not the point if you found this informative helpful or whatever or you think i'm a dumbass just leave it in the comments until next time Thank mm -hmm. you.